to welcome to TCTN. <clears throat> Excuse me. <sighs> TCTN, the crazy, because sometimes I just say I'm, I'm a little bit off. Just a little bit, a lot of bit, sometimes depending on the day <laughs> or the time of the day. Troll, because as you can tell, without any face paint, I am a troll. I think a cute troll, but a troll nonetheless. And so that's what my channel is about, just me being me. Sometimes I won't have on face paint. Sometimes I will. I do different types of videos. Um, and I will label them accordingly since I do have all of my videos on the same channel. This is going to be a really quick video. And I say that hoping it will be will be really quick about the Vars Varsali liquid glass that was in BoxyCharm. And if you purchase this at Sephora or from the Varsali website, it retails for $54. My issue with the subscription box, which is completely um, canceled at this point, uh, my, my subscriptions are canceled. Um, I looked up the ingredients. I, I wrote down and I did a spreadsheet, well not a spreadsheet, but <laughs> these are the ingredients from the Varsali liquid glass that came in the boxy charm. And on this side are the ingredients from Sephora's website and the Barsali website. And so what I found was only the first six ingredients are in the exact order on both the Barsali site and on the BoxyCharm product. Other than that, the ingredients are jumbled and we know the first ingredient down to the last starts from the highest concentration down to the lowest. And so for only the first six ingredients to be in the same exact order, to me, that's significant. We don't know what the quantity is, but we know that's the higher concentration of the product. Um, and there are nine additional <laughs> ingredients <laughs> in the Varsali liquid glass in the BoxyCharm box that are not in the Varsali liquid glass that you would purchase from Sephora or from the Varsali website. And so I find that significant because say you tried the one that you received in BoxyCharm and you liked it and you used it up, you decided to purchase the retail value of $54. I don't know why I held that up. I wrote a note on here on, on what it costs. And so you like it and you use it up and you go to purchase it from Sephora or the, or the Varsali website. And it's like, okay, this is a little different. It doesn't work the same. Maybe they changed the formula. Well, it is a different formula. And so for BoxyCharm to list products or to have products in their box and say retail value $54, this is not the one you would buy if you purchase from Sephora or the Varsali website. And so I think there's just this, this huge deception going on with products. I used to say, oh, if I like one product in the box, it pays for itself. The base box was $25. You get at least $125 worth of product. The premium box is $35 you get at least $175 worth of products, but do you really? Because this is not the one you would pay $54 for in the store. And so what is it really worth? Like, we don't know. So it just, the conspiracy goes deep. And so, but that's how these subscription boxes are able to <clears throat> say they have, or you get a certain amount, you know, of money's worth of products in the box for such a really, really low price. And I used to think it was such a good deal, but then I'm like, we don't know what it would really cost. I did email for Sally <laughs> to ask them if they do have their products in BoxyCharm. And, and I put the reason I'm asking is because when I looked at the ingredients on the BoxyCharm product versus their website, the ingredient list was different. And so then they said, well, we'll email you the full ingredient list. Well, the ingredient list is the one that's on their website, which I already had. And I did just um, look up the email and looked on my spreadsheet here. So what they sent me is what's on their website, which is also what's listed as ingredients on the Sephora website, which again, the one in BoxyCharm, only the first six ingredients are listed in identical order. After that, the ingredients are just like haphazard in this one from the BoxyCharm. And there's nine additional ingredients in the BoxyCharm one than is even in the one you'd buy from Sephora or on the Varsali website. So I hope all of that makes sense. If you're finding um, that you're having questions about this, I will link her video below. Her name is, uh, I want to say Jenna Fros or something like that. And I can picture the spelling in my head. <laughs> it's J-E-N-A and her last name is F-R-O-E-S-E, -E, I believe. But I'll link her video below. 
um, because she was one of the first few videos that I saw that were talking about, are these real products in these boxes? Like, is this really Rosalie? Uh, but at the time, I think she was talking about a different product. But that's what got my mind going and thinking more of, how are they giving us, like, all of these, you know, big name brand, high ticket items for this low cost? And now we know why. Because Varsali did say in an email to me, they do have their products in BoxyCharm. However, this is formulated different for BoxyCharm than the one you would purchase from their own website or from somewhere like Sephora. And so that's something to really think about. And again, I'll say if you like it and you use it up and then you buy one, it, it may not work the same. It might or it might not. It may break you out or it might not. This may break you out. The, the authentic one may not. And so that's just something to think about when um you're like oh my gosh i always wanted to try this brand i never purchased it because it was expensive so now i get to try it it's not the same one it's not they formulate it different to put in the subscription box and i think they need to be upfront with that i think every product that's formulated different for boxycharm or any subscription box i think they should say this was formulated specifically for this subscription box instead of letting people think this is the authentic product when it's not it's not, and it's, it's really, I don't want to say annoying, um, but it's really deceptive, and I don't like it, because you're, they're leading us to believe something that's not true, but anyway, let me know your thoughts on subscription boxes using, well, accepting products for their box that are not the ones you would actually buy in the store, and also, what do you think about them saying, retail value is $54, but this is not the one that you would buy in the store, so what do you guys think about that, like they're saying this is what it's worth, and it's clearly not because it's formulated different, and so that's it for this video, thank you guys for watching, and you will see me in the next video, I may or may not have one face paint, so I may be a cute troll and not this troll, but anyway, <laughs> thanks guys for watching, bye.